everybody, welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. Hope you guys are having a favorite contestant day. Hopefully the most amazing variety that gets more favorite contestant from here on out. Today we're at turn, as you guys can see. I totally forgot about the storage chest that was back here. Thank you guys for actually pointing out that that exists. But uh, I did promise that we were going to make some progress and break into this vault. And, uh, well, break into the vault. We shall a one and a two. And off Vita Sain, to you, it appears that quite the nice thing is awaiting us on the other side of this. Right off the bat, we see a munitions box, which tends to have some really good stuff. But as soon as we finish looting up this vault within the basement of our future home, since this is a some sort of like bunker that we're pretty much going to turn into the basement of our home because it's dope and it's got furniture already, you know, it's like kind of a little bit pre-moved in. Dude, I get so many shotgun slugs from these munitions boxes. I don't know why, but uh, then we're going to be making a little bit of a trip over to the trader. You guys can actually see from our inventory, we are very prepared. Ooh, I like what I see. These things could come in handy, but we are very prepared to go over there, trade in a bunch of stuff, hopefully get some gold. And hopefully unglitch the problem that's going on right now. Because as you guys can see in that upper right hand corner. It says clear the area 0, 0.0 meters. That quest is glitched. Some of you guys were saying that we are still able to complete it. We just have to go back to the location. Which I believe to be like right around there. And we left like one enemy alive apparently you guys were saying. So that that might be causing it. I was under the impression that it was glitched. And we wouldn't be able to finish it. Just because like you guys gotta admit. Like, the, in the upper right-hand corner, that looks very glitched when it says clear the area 0, 0.0 meters. That is not promising at all, but I guess next time we're back in Old Town, since now we're over in New Town. Old Town being the town that we used to live in up until the first Day 7 Horde. Uh, whenever we are back over there, I think we might try and give that another go. And uh, I think we might try and break into this gun safe probably next night time just because i like doing like breaking into those types of things overnight because it gives us something to do within the safety of our own home and well if you guys want to see we do about 14 damage of pop to this gun safe that's gonna take a lot of wax but here we got a hidden stash with oh baby some very nice stuff and also a horde by the sounds of it that's chilling above us Hopefully they don't catch a whiff of us. Here we got a storage chest that's been untouched with a whole ton of nothing, but we might be able to use that for our own storage. I don't know though. Like if we use that, it might cause like our items to despawn since items do respawn after a certain amount of time. So I'm uh, hopefully that that isn't the case if we store our own stuff in there. But I do know that items can and will respawn out of lootable containers. But uh, yeah, we made our way into here. We might need to toss down a second doorway. One that we can actually open because... Uh, that one ain't getting open anytime soon. But if you guys are enjoying the series, enjoying the video, and want to see more, definitely let me know by hitting that like button and saying so in that marvelous little comment section down below. Not to mention hitting that like button and being subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date with the series and all of its fan freaking fantasticness. For now, give me unt moment as we just put some things away and uh, prepare ourselves to hopefully make some wonderful trades. And wonderful trades there will be this is a bunch of stuff some of the stuff that we're keeping but a lot of it that we're gonna try to trade for a quick buck so let's head on top side and do that i do hear a lot of those zombies like i was saying so hopefully this doesn't like i, I i'm just scared that we're like we're gonna walk out and there's gonna be a billion zombies waiting oh i saw a zombie whoop, 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 whoop. yeah i see you construction worker thinking you could finesse me I don't know where the rest of the zombies are, dude. It definitely sounded like there was a lot of footsteps, but see ya. Oh, god dang it. I hit the dirt. See ya. Wouldn't want to be. How am I over encumbered? Oh, the freaking clay soil. Never trust clay, lads. It's always trying to screw you over like that, I guess. But uh, we're going to be making our way over a little bit of a trek to make our way to the trader. Hopefully, we can restart the quest and choose a new one. I'm not 100% sure. How well that's gonna go like i'm saying we might need to try and unglitch it back at the location it's just that i'm very sketched out by it due to the total lack of a marker so i think it might just be permanently screwed but we'll give it another go since that is something that you guys were suggesting that we're gonna go ahead that that is something you guys were suggesting we should go ahead and do Blah. my english is awful today my apologies and if you guys have any other suggestions stuff you want to see me do Go and let me know in that comment section down below as well. Let's go ahead and booze up a little bit. Make this uh, run a little bit on the funner side. Yeah, we feeling a nice buzz. 
to be feeling rowdy. The buzz helps us regenerate stamina at a nicer rate. And ooh, 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 look at that lower left-hand corner. Our stamina is staying up at a very nice rate. However, there is always the opportunity and the chance that we're about to get mugged by Zambies. So even though we're buzzed, we probably should not be handling firearms. We're handling a firearm right now. And if anyone, specifically the dogs... Dude, the zombie dogs are always on my case. Dude, why am I over in cup? Freaking glass jar, of course. The zombie dogs are always on my case. They're probably gonna kind of show up out of nowhere and try to take us down, but I won't allow it. No, no, no. No, today. There's the military base we finished looting just last episode. Very interesting. By the way, you guys were saying that apparently there might be like a secret stash or something I missed. So we might try and make a quick pit stop in here. It should be still pretty relatively cleared we literally just finished clearing it out like yesterday let's just hope that there's no like abomination zombies here right to take us down i think you guys were saying like in the bathroom or something we want to like look up and oy vey look up we do want to do oh that's a lot of health behind that thing that should break a little bit faster i just want to make sure that what we're breaking into doesn't like there's not anything on top of it i also want to make sure that there's no zombies in here about to mug us but i want to make sure that hopefully there's nothing on top of this so we don't like break like a little loot container on top or anything but this could have some more marvelous loot our way so we're gonna break in here shouts out to you guys for pulling this bad boy out and like i'm saying hopefully we'll uh execute some very nice trades and another thing we want to do is continue killing all the zombies in the world because we're at level 15 at the moment and that's a very good thing. Hold on, I'm just trying to position myself here proper. Nice and proper. We are at level 15 at the moment. And level 15. Okay, so there is a secret area. I don't really think it leads to anything though, guys. I, you guys weren't kidding that there's a secret area. Like, unless that was where the secret stuff was. Eee, not really much in here, guys. Unless I'm missing something. In which case, hey, like I'm saying. Feel free to point that out, but for now, we got priorities, and that involves making some big sales and potentially some big purchases over at the trader, and... Oh, wow! I think this house just freaking collapsed! That was one of those houses that, like, floats and levitates. Yeah, that doesn't happen for long. Apparently, physics catches up with the best of us. I wonder if I can get this to collapse. Usually, like, if just something touches it, it'll just crumble like a cookie. And now I want a cookie. Look at what you guys have done. I blame you. <laughs> but uh, we're at level 15. At level 20 is when we unlock something big. A lot of you guys have actually been commenting like, Star, craft a... Oh my god, we got another military base. I like this. I like this a lot. A lot of you guys have been commenting like, Star, you got to craft up a forge already. Like, guys, I'm well aware that I need a forge. But, well, we can't really craft up a forge until we learn it. And you know how we learn it? That little skill that requires us to be at level 20. If we head over here to the skills, you guys could actually see exactly. I hear Zambi. I panic. Cut me some slack. Well, let's get a little bit of separation here and I could show you guys what I'm talking about. It's going to be over here in the intellect. It's the hammer and forge. But that requires level four intellect. We can't get that until we hit level 20. So that's what I'm saying. We got to try and get a lot of EXP. Good way of doing that is killing Zambies and I'm guessing doing quests as well, but well, that's not happening at the moment because it freaking glitched. Not a fan of that, but so be it. You know what I am a fan of, though? The fact that we got two points available to us. So why don't we try and, well, help us sprint a little bit better. Why don't we get this cardio up? Yeah, let's purchase that. And then our agility, increase our max stamina to one ton. I could get behind that as well. And I think that... Ah, oh, we got to get up to agility level three before we can get level two of that perk but they should help us run longer distances with ease especially oh dude i hear like a bear is under high hoy hoy i heard like a i heard like a low growl in my headset i might just be tweaking man the wildlife this is where i'm truly scared we've died to animals counting zombified animals but we've died to animals more than we've died to real zombies so i'm just saying i'm a little bit skeptical a little bit spookable when it comes to this stuff. We also do need to get our stamina up. Is that due to a lack of thirst? Or is that due to a lack of vat? What is the problem here? Food, 85%. Water, 94%. Um, yum, 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 
Let's go and get some bacon and eggs in this belly and move forward with that. We got a little camp over there we could check out. I think that's the camp I actually died to because it has dogs within it. Oh, okay. Wait, that's a deer. Okay, I was about to be like, dog. No, that's not a dog. Luckily for us, at least for now, man, knowing my luck, that thing's going to like transform into a dog. Like, oh, it's just a prank, bro. It's Halloween. It's animal Halloween. I was just dressing up as a deer. Time to die. That'd be my luck. Totally. Here we also have like what appears to be. I don't even know what to call that. I think this is the, I think that's the exact same thing we saw back there. Huh? All right. Listen, if I wasn't carrying a whole bunch of guns right now and trying to make a trade, I would be making some pit stops at these locations. But guys, we got some valuable cargo on this bootle of ours. I'm just trying to keep it as safe as can be because our inventory is filled to the brim with all the guns and loot that we've stockpiled. We're trying to make a nice nifty profit off this and we're going to try to use that profit and hopefully uh, come out all the better. What is this over here? This also looks like a little camp. I don't even know what kind this is, though. I'm scared, man. Like this is this is near one of these camps where when I got mugged by like a pack of dogs twice. It was a pack of no. Yeah. Was it a pack of dogs or a pack of wolves? One of the two. But I got mugged by them once nearby. And then the second time I got my backpack back. I didn't know that this was the case yet, by the way. What happened is we checked that place out. We were nearby an area like that the first time. And then the zombies popped up. Not the zombies. Well, the zombified dogs and or wolves popped up and killed me. And I'm like, oh, well, that's some bad luck. They sent a dog horde my way. But then I came back, got my stuff and actually checked out the area it was at. And that's when I realized my mistake, because that's when they showed up again. And I'm like, all right, I think I'm noticing a pattern here. And that, that's the story of two of my deaths to my worst adversaries. Nature. Ooh, is this my backpack? Oh, would you look at that? It is. I forgot I died by this thing. <laughs> All right. What's up, my dude? We got some trades to make. And can I restart that quest you gave me? With me friend. That, that, that voice just does not match that face, man. It spoops me. Um, I have no work at this time. Okay. Yeah. So I think we got to find a way to unglitch and finish that quest. So I really hope we could do that. Uh, let's see if we can't find something good over here. Maybe like some high quality weaponry or something like this. That's a, oh, that's a really nice machete, actually, with 17 melee damage. Hold on. I hear noises. Uh, just in case. Oh, I see you. Ha <laughs> ha. No, no, no. Not today, my zombie brethren. We putting this place on lockdown. Now then, back to what I was saying. We're going to have a ton of noise in the background. Sorry about that. Uh, this machete, how's that look compared to our iron club? Uh, a little bit more power attack damage, but really not that amazing. And that thing is way more quality than we have, so I'm kind of surprised. Really, I don't think the trader has anything that good that we might want to buy. But uh, I'm interested in a little thing known as selling. Oh, you know what I could do too? Oh my god. I will. Zombies, shut up! You're not getting into here. There's this better barter magazine we could use. And as we use that... Our barter skill should go up, meaning we can get even more money for all this stuff we're about to sell. Thank you. Thank you. Landy. Oh, and here's when all these silver nuggets come into play. All the gold nuggets. All the raw diamonds. Look at this money that we are making. Money moves. Okay, he's not interested in bows anymore, but he'll buy some of this other stuff right here. And that's the awesome thing. When he buys these things, right? He pops the in yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. he pops the items out, not the items, the ammo. He pops them out, so if any of them come preloaded with ammo, they leave the vicinity. Check it out, boom, plus thirty ammo. That is so freaking handy. I'm also gonna go ahead and sell these rockets. I'm um, actually, eh, we'll leave the rockets for now, and we do need to leave the compound bows with us since we can't sell them at the moment. And uh, all in all. Things are coming up Millhouse. Why don't we see what else he has to offer, though? Like, anything else kind of worthwhile? Like, honestly, a decent hunting knife might kind of go a long way. That'll help us, like, harvest really well. It's only 570. Why don't we make a little bit of a purchase, make some trades over here with my friend? And, uh, oh, baby. Oh, mm, 
Thank you, Survivor. Yeah, no Check problem. Soon, I get new merchandise daily. Aw, thank you, man. See, this guy's so nice. I love it. Uh, we could try to craft up a mining helmet, but at the same time, guys, I, I, I want a mining helmet as soon as possible because that'll just make videos look so much better. So, otherwise, like the mining helmet, it's pretty expensive. What he's asking for. But for the case of I want you guys to be able to see and also I want to be able to see because it's a YouTube series and these videos go on YouTube. Um, I don't want them to be pitch black. So the mining helmet will be bought. We will toss that upon our head and uh, start enjoying things. Oh, we should have. Mm, we could have bought that one. But at the same time, I don't really care too much because like it, does, it actually does not look like it makes much of a difference at all. Like the durability, like that's about it. I mean, we could just repair this thing though, so that's not too big of a deal. And that one's like two grand more, so eh, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, that's a very nice iron pickaxe, but this iron fire axe will be ours. We have an iron pickaxe somewhere, but bless up. We're going to be able to harvest wood so much better now with that purchase. And this is pretty much stuff that we all just sold. Come back sometime. No problem. You are a very nice person to do business with, uh, Trader Jen. Even though I think it should be Trader Joe, especially with what it says in the back and the way you sound. But hey, I ain't judging. You do you, Jen. You do you. Now what I'm going to do, let's toss that helmet on. I don't care if it's not as good as this iron helmet. Because so check this out. Beautiful. No, it's not a rave. It's not just strobe lights. We have the power of light. That is an amazing power to have. And what's up, my dude? You got to go. All right. Trader Jen told me to kill you for disorderly knocking on her door. Like, jeez. She doesn't serve zombies here. Go to Trader Trader Zoles. I feel that that's more zombie oriented, you know, because zombies, listen, the, the thing about dealing with zombies, right, is, well, they want brains. Brains usually aren't for trade. You need to forcefully take them. And that's not good. In our case, at least. And we're going to be heading to the southeast. And, oh, that's a little bit of a run. But listen, we got an airdrop to make a pit stop at. So I think that this run should be more than worth it. Can we see it? Yeah, there we go. We can see it up in the sky. Let's try to make it to this thing. Cop this airdrop and reap the rewards airdrops are always worth making a pit stop by today is no exception let's go ahead and booze on up a little bit a nice buzz you feeling rowdy yeah and i'm regenerating that stamina that we need baby look at this we are running we are flat out running and we're gaining stamina the magic of beer oh dude i wish i don't think beer works like this irl a little bit of a disclaimer but seven days to die beer hot dog man good stuff and that over there might be another town in which case we're gonna yeah, listen i'm gonna do a little bit of exploring around here you never know we could come across some very interesting stuff maybe some skyscrapers maybe some of the new factories there's a lot of reasons to maybe poke around and well we just got to make our way back home by the end of the day or some kind of home worst case even like a roof somewhere i'm not picky i don't need a bed just get me some place safe from the grubby or fingers of the zombies and the pain that they try to inflict. Did that thing land in the river? Oy vey, that's not good. What about you, car? You got anything good? Oh, the car does have good things. Hey, that's my airdrop, Zambi. Back on out of here. Yeah, mm, that's what you get, boy. Get out of here. My airdrop. Oh, my God. I gotta go swimming for this bad boy. Worth it, I think. Oh, what's up, bunny? You trying to swim too? Oh, hold on. I have no stamina. I'm not trying to swim with no stamina. Also, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna swim through there. Swimming takes a minute. I'm just gonna run around. It's not that big of a detour. It's actually a pretty small one. I thought this was a river, but then I looked left and it's like, oh. No, it's kind of like a little pond. Definitely not a river. Unless it's a river that starts here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. I get it. This thing is farting out orange juices and it's weird. Like it's under... Okay, never mind. It stopped. As soon as I called it out for its orange juice farts, it's like, all right, I get it. You don't want that. Is this, can the zombie drown? Dude, watching the zombie ragdoll underwater is hilarious. You're going to come up here? Okay, actually, can I just, can I Kobe you underwater? Is this a thing? No. Oh my God, the water's arrow proof. Jesus. 
Bro, what? <laughs> Actually, what? All right, supply crate. What you got in store for me? You got, oh my God. A lot of stuff. Okay. We might need to sell some of the stuff because we are kind of over encumbered at the moment. Actually, no, we can do two. Toss those up there. Get rid of that jar. Lamb rations there. Hey, and our inventory is full yet again. Also, dude, oh my God. Fighting on the side of a cliff. Definitely not ideal. Oh my God. That's where zombie physics get a little bit loony. But here's the game plan. Oh, we found a major road here. But I saw a couple of interesting looking buildings this way. I just want to investigate a little bit. And then we'll make our way back. Maybe sell a couple more things at Trader Joel's. I don't know. We still got like an entire eight hours of daytime. Is that Trader Joel's house, right? Is that? No, that's something totally different, I think. Oh, that's just one of those, uh, yeah, it's just uh, one of the new points of interest that we could loot up. I'm good for now, fam. I'm good for now. Hello. Goodbye. Ow. What? What? I feel something coming on. Bruh. Are you kidding me? I'm out here doing a hit and run on a zombie. And you're telling me the zombie like scratches at my ankles or something in the middle of that? Whack. That is as whack as can be, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me right meow? Ooh, is this a workbench? That still works? Aw. Uh, definitely doesn't still work, but ooh. That is an iron shovel. And some steel arrowheads. All right, all right. Not too shabby here. Uh, are we gonna try to break into here? Oh my god, you good, Zambi? Are you gonna try to get me? That's- I didn't know that they could actually hit me when they're down. Cause that's the only- that's- that's what we got hit by, right? The zombie that we whacked? Cause- whoo! Hey, big boy. That's the only thing that could've really got us, right? Which doesn't make sense, cause I've been, like, dangerously close to these guys before. And they've never hit me while they're down, which is why it's like, huh. Interesting. All right, my dude. I'll help you open this up. No worries. I know you want to high five me like no one's business. We'll high five in a second. Oh, hello. There you go. Enjoy that high five. It's actually a high club. It's a prank, bro. I'm sorry. You want some high club too? I got plenty of high club where that came from. One for you. One for you. Right in the back. And whoop, 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 whoop. oh, freaking crawler. Where'd you come from? Ah! There we go. Just got to make sure he's dead. God dang it, man. What is coming on though? Like, what, what what is this over here with our character? Oh, it disappeared. So whatever sickness we had, we're Gucci. All right, good to hear. Let's get back to popping this bad boy open. Do we have anything good by chance? I heard some weird noises right there. I don't know what that was about. Oh, check it out. We might be able to capitalize here. Maybe get some insta kills. How is that not an insta kill anymore? Oh, and you move your head last second too. No respect. Here's the thing. Our intellect, isn't it up to level four? Or it should be? No, it can't. God dang it. I was about to be like, I thought the magazine. Oh, the midair hit. I thought the magazine's supposed to bring it up, but I guess not. Maybe I like misread it or something. Maybe we need to be able to have it be that next level. And hey, level 17. Dude, we need level 20 to come, but it's coming like at a decent rate right now. I'm not going to lie. I like the way this is going. What about you, Mr. Crate? You got anything good in store for moi? Oh. A construction site. Oh! I could have gotten a steel fire axe before I bought the iron fire axe. Oh my god. I think this lady's hunting me down, dude. This is the same one I hit, I'm pretty sure. All right, well, hello. Yep. She died in one hit. That was actually the same one. As much as I want to break into you, gun safe, that is not going to be happening today. I am very sorry to say. And we definitely need to drop off and sell a couple things at the trader before we make our way home. Because uh, we got a lot of decent stuff that I'm not just trying to get rid of for no reason. And we're definitely over encumbered, but that was a very good hole to visit. Best hole I've visited in my life. Now then, back on topic. I guess slightly off topic. On topic would be going back to the trader. Um, what in tarnation is going on over here? Color me intrigued, baby. Looks like something cool is popping off. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? I can't, I, I think it's just a house, but I think this is the beginning to something bigger. Oh, I think this might be the edge of a town we're wandering across. And also a river. Or no, that's just another pond. Is this a town or is it just like a super small conglomeration of a couple of buildings? 
I think it's the beginnings of a town. Like, that's that's what it looks like. Is there anything I could get rid of here? Maybe, like, free up a little bit of room. Cornmeal. I don't need no cornmeal. Three gunpowder. I could pass on three gunpowder. Um, Iron shovel. Eh. 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 Why don't we just eat up cat food? Yeah, let's eat up a little bit of cat food. Let's get our true cravings in real quick. If you food poison me, cat food, I swear we are going to have beef. Okay, good. No beef. And there we go. Our inventory is empty again. Well, not empty, but you know what I mean. Like the part of our inventory that over encumbers us is empty. And I love it. And the question is, am I going to love what I see in this town? Anything interesting? Any new types of buildings that we might want to loot up? They could potentially have really good loot behind them. I don't know, but I want to know. And also, uh, we're, we're exploring a new town. Always good to have a gun out. Never know what you'll come across. But this actually looks like a very small town. I'm not going to lie. This town is tiny, dude. I think that's literally it. There's some kind of like house under construction here, which is actually kind of cool. But dude, I think that might be like, I think we literally just checked out all this town. Unless there's something over this hill. I actually think that's it. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, we got a little bit of town this ways. I was about to say, like, god dang, bro. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a town. Dude, that's actually so cool. There's so many different towns. And, like, in Alpha 17, I'm not gonna lie, these towns are very close to each other. In Alpha 16, it felt like they were so far apart. But that's not the case anymore, dude. It feels like these are insanely close. And I like it. And there's a lot of cool buildings. Like, that looks like a cool building to loot up. I definitely think we might need to make a pit stop here in the future, too. And he might be like, Star, you dingus, run home. We'll get to running. Listen, I just want to see what we got to work with over here. You never know. Oh, tool store. That could be good. Oh, vulture somewhere. That's not going to be good. Probably for the vulture, I've become a dead shot with my bow. And that is actually a medicine store, a pharmacy you could check out. Very nice. Butcher Pete's. That could have some good stuff. Some books. Uh, some tools. Uh, and I think that about does it. What is this? A little doorway open in the side. That's not sketchy at all. But I think that about does it. I'm not seeing too many more major buildings. There's a couple like minor ones here or there. Nothing huge though. Yeah. I'm not really seeing any like... I'm looking... You know what I'm looking for honestly? The one thing that I'd love to see... I think there's like a shotgun messiah factory like the gun factory of this game i think that's a new one in alpha 17 i need to see that man that would be wild but there's still a good amount of town here to go like if we keep going this way there's even more town after this i'm not gonna lie guys i i kind of want to spend the night in one of these towns is that the most productive thing eh, debatable but then we could go to the trader make a trade and not worry about making it back home before nighttime and i mean there's still like this entire area out west to check out check it out oh yeah that's what i'm talking about a whole nother section of town dude i think this is like a separate town too actually it might be the same because like the road kind of runs through here and then i wonder there's probably like some kind of intersection I wonder if that intersection might have a town. Because look, we got a road going this way. Like, whoop, probably right there. And then this one, whoop. Those probably intersect. I wonder if that's maybe where like a big town or like a big city is. Maybe these are like the suburbs we're in right now. Ooh. Oh. And there are some interesting looking buildings this way as well. Me likey. And if you guys see any buildings that you really want to see me loop by the way, like I'm saying, let me know in that comment section down below. But for now, looks like we got a big old bookstore, a smaller bookstore across the street. Interesting strategy, Cotton. I think one of those is going to go out of business, or at least was destined to. What do we have over here? A little working stiff tool store. Something. Oh, another, another hardware store behind it. Dude, there's actually a lot of good stuff. I kind of... I'm tempted. The hardware stores are really good. Because we can get a lot of good tools. And tools are kind of the basis of building up our base to where we want it to be. And I mean, if we could get like a steel pickaxe. We already have a steel axe. Dude, if we could get a steel pickaxe too. Or, hear me out. 
start getting the auger, the chainsaw. That would be even more ideal. But I'm thinking like realistic, non-electrical. There's just a whole lot of opportunity, man. I'm liking it. Ooh! I'm not liking that. No, no, no. Ooh, a bakery. Bob's Bakery. Does that have some fresh baked goods? It might have some baked goods. Probably not fresh. After all, the freaking apocalypse hit. I don't think this is day one of the apocalypse either, because this is hella zombies for day one, and not hella people for day one. But this road continues heading somewhere. I kind of want to see where this road goes. But at the same time, I don't want to head out too far, because I do want to. Ooh, what is that over there? Is that like a water tower? I think so. I don't want to head out too far, though, because like I'm saying, there might be something intriguing. I thought I saw something I actually... Mm, there's just so many different things I want to do, man. But I thought I saw some kind of location out that way. And also, like I was saying, I don't want to leave here yet. I kind of... Oh my god, an underground farm. But uh, this town would actually be a really cool one to live in because it's super close to that trader. But we kind of already found that bunker that I really want to do something with our base. So... Unless we want to move again. I really don't want to move again, though. I don't know, man. There's just decisions, decisions, nonstop. But back to what I was saying. I saw some kind of location. You guys see that? A couple of blocks over that way. Some kind of interesting looking location. I want to go give that a look super lickety splickety. And then we'll head back in. I, I think you're going to set up shop in this town for tonight. And see what entails. Is this another trader? Maybe? Dude, I can't tell what that is. It's... It actually might be. Is this like the treehouse trader? Oh, is it? It might be. I'm not seeing the trader flag, but this looks like a trader's outpost. Oh, yes, baby. Let's freaking go. Another trader. You know why this is good? I think that this trader can give us a quest. So even though the other trader's quest might be glitched, this one should not be as glitched, which is really, really awesome news for us. And he's going to have more stuff, and we could sell more stuff Each to him, too. Is a blessing. All right, Trader Joel. Wait to be ominous and spooky. How are you doing, big boy? Do you have any jobs? Check it out, lads and lassies. Yes, he does, but I'm not going to be taking any of these at the moment. Do you want to know why? No, not because there's, like, rabbit mating noises in the background. Because I think what glitched it last time is if we log out when we have a quest, like, it might do something. Like, that might be what glitched it, but we know that we can get a quest from him, which is really good news. We know that I want to sell some stuff to you, which is even better news. Um, I'll sell you this one first aid kit. Uh, actually, I'll sell you this helmet. Um, you want some compound bows? I got compound bows for days, baby. Go and eat those up to your heart's content. Uh... Don't we? Have, I think we have a marksman rifle at home, so I'll just sell that one. Make some moolah for that. I will sell you one first aid kit, so we can just have a stack right there. I'm not trying to have, like, the odd man out. I want to take home as much stuff as we can. Oh, that's a wolf somewhere. That's not good. That is not good. Uh, but other than that, like, nothing that I really want to sell too hard it's here. Real oh, hold on, hold on, hold you on, Joel. Out there. Thank you, man. Dude, this is so nice. I'm not finding... The mean traders, man. That was like the staple of Alpha 16. Just straight douche nozzle traders. Now they're like, nice. It's a good break. What do we have here? Ooh, night vision goggles? Eh, nothing too crazy. What about ammo and weapons? Anything good? That crossbow looks cheap and tempting. Cause I don't, I'm not gonna be able to craft up a level five anything for a while. That thing's probably gonna be like pretty efficient. It's only gonna shoot crossbow bolts, which we could definitely craft up. I kinda, I'm tempted. Let me know what you guys think. Would you want to see another... Like, would you want to see us cop this? Because we can just come back and get it. Because he's not going to refresh his stockpile till day 13. So we got a little bit of time before that comes. Um, tools, though. He doesn't have anything really that great in terms of tools. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything too great. But still... You have a great day now. Thank you. You too, Trader Joel. Good to know that there's yet another trader. Dude, that... Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. I closed the door behind me. Okay. It's just good to know that there's one trader here. I'm actually gonna save this. Um, I'll I'll do it as that. Yeah, like trader. There we go. And then I'm gonna save this location. Or is it this location? I think it's this location. And then we'll save that one as a trader two. 
as well. And then we just have a couple of waypoints. So, dude, building around here will give us, especially if we're going to unglitch those quests, two different traders to trade with and two different traders to get quests from, which actually seems like it could be really, really promising. Now, I'm a little bit scared because I heard wolves over here. And we really got to find a place to call home. So, whoop, 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 whoop. Let's get out of here and start trying to find some kind of rooftop. Make sure no wolves are following us. Uh, find some kind of rooftop or something where we can be safe for the most part. Because rooftops tend to be... Ooh, baby. Not too shabby. Rooftops, they tend to be one of the safer areas. And we did just get some steel crossbow bolts too. Which actually has me tempted as an extra reason to get that crossbow. So we could shoot those bolts. But maybe we'll like try to settle up shop. Maybe top floor roof of here any objections maybe roof of there maybe roof of that oh that roof is way up high listen i'm just looking for some kind of place where we don't need to be subjected to the zombies of the ground and i think that this might fit the bill so we gonna try and do that lads and lassies now the question is i'm a little bit scared though because of the fact that this ladder exists so we're gonna try i'm gonna break this ladder up a little bit and then we're gonna make it so we got a parkour to get up here that way we should be a little bit safer. What do I mean by that? Well, there's this dumpster here. Oh, I hear zombie noises. Well, the That's where the zombie noises were coming. Oh my god. Are you guys gonna break your legs or something? That's some big drops you guys are taking. And I, that's some big EXP I'm taking from you guys too. Better, 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 better swing. Oh my god, it's like batting practice out here. And an EXP farm. A little bit of a double whammy. Oh my god, and they're gonna be coming out of there too. Just make sure no one's coming from behind either. I'm gonna let them break that back door for us, and I'm gonna try to break this ladder so the roof gets a little bit safer because nighttime is almost upon us here, and I do not want a bunch of zombies climbing up super angry like on us. Oh, hello, my friends. How do you do? All right, I'll deal with you. Oh man, got a miniature conga line going. Oh, big hit on you, big hit on you. Big hit on you. Big hits for everybody. You guys want to die? There we go. Nothing like two power swings to do most of these dudes in. Oh my god. Dropping like flies. We got half an hour to go. Let's please break this. Oh, you know what else? Did we not get a... We did not get a pickaxe. We just got two fire axes. God dang it. I hear zombies. I don't know from where. I do want to kill as many zombies as we can before nighttime comes too. Oh, man, I got to repair this thing. God dang it. Get out of here, zombies. Nighttime's almost here. I'm not trying to deal with you guys right now. Oh, my God. There's so many coming. Let's go and repair that. And then we can break that bottom rung. And just the jiff. I'm breaking your face. This very jiff as we speak. There we go. You don't need that face anyway. Faces are overrated. Nurse, right back at you. No face necessary. You good? Yeah, she good. Are we good? No, no more angry zombies? Okay. Marvelous. And there we go. We're just going to break that bottom rung, which I, I think zombies can, like, jump and stuff now. But it's better than nothing, you know? Better than nothing. And what we're going to do as well to try and combat this is... Boop! There we go. Like, I don't know how well that's going to work. Better than nothing. We just got to go and kill this crawler before nighttime. Ow! Oh, my God. He was lurking. But we got another level as well. And nighttime is here. But, you know, it's awesome. Let there be lights! This mining helmet, guys, is gonna be a game changer. We can actually see things at night. Now, we still gotta worry about surviving things at night, but that's a whole different story. So we're gonna go ahead, set up shop here for now, and then continue our exploration and potentially do a little bit more trading over there. We got some hardware stores over here to loot up, potentially some stuff to sell out of our inventory. All in all, very productive episode, and things are coming up Millhouse. Well, that's it with that done, and that's gonna wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Huh, this was an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.